Hi, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Carl. And we're a couple of ordinary travellers. And together we're hiking the Portuguese Camino. We start in Porto in Portugal and walk 280 kilometres over 13 days till we reach Santiago Cathedral in Spain. Here now in Porto, and we are at the cathedral, ready to get our credentials to start the Camino tomorrow. Yay, we've got them! We've got them. This is the start. We're going to collect our stamps along the way. We also purchased some shelves to put on our bag. Can't wait to begin tomorrow. We're heading from Porto to Le Bruges today, which is about 24. We're gonna see if we can find somewhere where we can get a coffee. It's about, it's about half past seven in the morning, and I really fancy trying an egg tart. We're now coming away from Porto, as you can see in the background. How lovely it is. It's a lovely little city. If we had more time we'd spend a little bit longer here so we may have to come back. This bridge is massive. Just had a little bit of rain, drizzle. We have invested in some ponchos that go over our bag. So obviously since we've been together, we've done many, many hikes. We've done our first one, which is the uh, two weeks Camino Portuguese from Porto to Santiago. So here we are. We are walking from Porto to Santiago and it, it's going to be about 12 days, 13 with a rest day in the middle. I think we've started to hit the boardwalk, so come on, come on.
you're not aware I'm ginger so the sun seems to like to fry my skin at any opportunity but I've got lashes of sun cream on and I'm still burning it is so hot we just had a nice spot of lunch nice uh, grilled chicken sandwich some fries a couple of beers and we really did need it we probably underestimated the fact of no snacks and the, and we didn't actually pass many shops or places where we could even get any snacks now we're back on our way how far have we got to go about an hour and a half night stay on the Camino. Our guest house tonight is called Smiling Places. And here it is. Seven hours, 25 k We've had a little dip in the pool. Cold, really refreshing. Catch some rays. Is out. Bon Camino, everybody. Good morning, it's day Morning. two on the Camino, and today we are heading from La Bruge to Aquistora. Weather's not really with us at the moment, it's a bit raining. Apparently, the wind is going to pick up, so we're hoping it clears and we'll see how we go. <laughs> The rain stops, now we can take the ponchos off. It's really hot, but I'm sweating. Ghost town. Everywhere is deserted. There's no people. Come on, Winger. Come on, little paddle feet. 
my feet are hurting. We're nearly there. We're approaching our guest house for tonight, which is called the Aquadora Guest House. We're here really early. We're about two hours uh, ahead before they open. They wouldn't open until three. We got here at one, so we had a great time. So we found a nice place to have lunch. Out the rain, out the wind. The sun is out for a little bit, the wind has died, the rain is gone, and it looks like a guest house is open. Let's go. Morning everybody, day three today, at 14k Aguadera's guest house, which we are now, to Marina's bed and breakfast. The guest house that we stayed in last night was about £36. And when we got here, the guy said that we had the whole place to ourselves because there is nobody here but us. What a difference a day makes. This morning, beautiful sunshine. Yesterday, horrendous winds. Accommodation doesn't have a, we didn't have a kettle um, or anywhere to get a coffee, so we found a nice little coffee shop. I ordered a white coffee. I got the smallest baby cup ever, and it's black. But it actually tastes really good. I'm in the bad books, that's the second selfie stick I've broken so far and it's only day three. I think she's just going to break that one too. Bon Camino. Where are we going? Yeah. Where are we now? This is our bathroom. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, very nice. It's a nice view. Morning everyone. It's day three. No, four on the Camino. We've lost track of what day it is. We're so we're gonna get puffy faced. It's half past six in the morning and we're heading out early because today is a 27k walk. So it's gonna be our longest day. We're we heading to where? Uh, so we go from here, Marinas, to Coreco. And also my foot's been playing up my left foot. I think it might be a bit of tendonitis. But yeah, we're gonna see. So we're trying to go early so that I actually make it. Fingers crossed. Bon Camino. So we're heading out and it is dark. 20 minutes and there'll be sunrise. And we've got to walk along the main road, hence the head torches. Thank <laughs> you. 
to a bar. Excuse the breathlessness, this is uphill. Uphill, 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 uphill. So far today, we have had lots and lots of uphill or inclines. And we turned the corner and this is what we got. Not yet. I'll show you. All the way up there, this is probably the steepest one. I can see fellow pilgrims, peregrinos, up the top. Fresh. What a great little water fountain. Now, here we go. I'm dying. I might find a lift. The next car I see. Oh shit, it's the wrong way. So I never thought I'd say that I actually have preferred some of the uphill today because when you're on the flat with the cobbles, really, really hurts your feet. But when you kind of have a bit of an incline, yeah, it feels a lot easier. I never thought I'd say that, did you? I didn't, that's for sure. Carl's got a new friend. This is our room for the night. Could have two extra guests if we wanted to. And this is our bathroom. Nice. Nice room. Morning. Morning everyone. Today is day five and we have a bit of rain. Heading to uh, Camina, Camina, about four hours, 17, 18k. So we're leaving a bit later this morning after breakfast. Our accommodation last night was really, really nice. Um, we did change our accommodation at the last minute because it was a long day yesterday, 28k, and we were booked into an albergue. And yeah, we didn't really fancy the thought of sharing. Here we go, ponchos on, rain, day five. We can't believe it's day five. The dogs garden the cows.
That's where you get the little water taxi across to Agada. We're not doing that. We're going this way to Kamina and that's where we're staying tonight. Omelette and salad and a cheeky little beer. Here we are, crossing over the bridge out of Camino. Start of the uh, official hug between the two towns. Drizzling, but we have just met two you might see their torches in the background. We just have met two people, exactly the same idea. Literally, the other side of the bridge. Just put we got a little bit lost and we've come off the path. We must have missed a sign somewhere. So, we're trying to find our way back to the main road. So Carl had a message from the lady, um, ladies guest house that we stayed in, in Kareko, not last night, the night before, because he had left his DJI microphone in the room. It was quite expensive and luckily for us, she is posted it on to Santiago for when we arrive next week. And then we're just gonna pay her money for the post to Spain. done 20k of today's 32 there's a couple of peregrinos behind us and there's a couple a bit further back and apart from one of the lady uh, that's kind of all we've seen today something like that three hours it's starting to warm up now as you can see that's why we get off early um and i think when we get to valencia when we join the central route, it'll be a lot busier then on our longer days we've bought some baps some cheese, some ham, and I've made some baps to bring with us with a big bag of crisps to keep us going. It's probably lucky that we have done that because we haven't passed anywhere to get anything to eat. So apart from when we had a coffee this morning at about 10, nothing, no one. It's like some of these villages are abandoned. You don't see anybody. Hello. My feet are literally just pulsating and throbbing. And I just want to sit down. Yeah, it's been a long day. I'm really tired. So hopefully we'll be there soon. Tonight, 
we are staying on the other side of the wall in the fort. Honestly, we've been going round and round in circles. We can't find our accommodation, but it's here. We've been round three times, and here it is. The directions on Google Maps tells us left, and it's actually right. Here we are. We're getting our stamp, this self-help. our room small but adequately formed nice bathroom okay. I need to wash this hair so hair dryer is luxury restaurant but we've been to our hotel and uh, had a wash I mean we wash all the time but we've had a proper wash but we've managed to wash well I've washed my hair Carl's probably washed his hair too oh, it's a bit shiny on top uh, we're just waiting for some food and then we'll probably have a little walk around the fort but we're so tired then we're gonna head back to the find the laundry wash our clothes um, just, just chill out really rest our feet uh, because it's been a full-on six days, so on Camino. We hope you've enjoyed watching week one on our Portuguese Camino. Now check out week two as we head into Spain towards Santiago Cathedral.